Hi everybody, welcome to another Lestats Gaming Live video and today we're gonna play Star Drive uh, which I just got and uh, I'm already on the part of setting up my race and I'm going to play as the human I chose a flag with the white wolf because I'm a huge uh, Game of Thrones fan and I'm just going to change the Empire name to Lestatian Empire. Okay, human, humans, and the soul is the system name. So I'm going to click engage. Oh, I have um, large galaxy size, normal solar systems, five opponents, sandbox. 100% and difficulty is set to normal. Um, I played two quick games of this uh, before just to get ready for this let's play and um, well the AI is insanely aggressive so every single race I've found up until now um, tried to kill me immediately so yeah that's going to be hard the game is uh, really beautiful it is a space empire game so as you can expect you have a lot of zooming in and zooming out to do in this game um, you start in one solar system uh, in this case, I start in our solar system because I'm playing with the humans. Um, there are eight races, I think, um, to play and eight races to fight against. And the uh, basic stuff is just select a planet and colonize it. And I'm going to colonize Mercury and Venus and... Mars and I'll just have to click colonize and um, a colony ship as you can see here just launched from Earth to in this case Mercury and it will colonize the planet automatically and uh, because I don't have any other colony ships um, when I click colonize on the other planets automatically it starts building a colony ship in any of the available planets that you have already so in this case Earth immediately started to build two additional colony ships and uh, I also automated here uh, the projectors and the freighters so freighters are automatically built too um, because you need a lot of them to trade between your different um, planets so this is a freighter already traveling between planets and this one is seeking a trading route because I now have only one planet to trade it with uh, Earth and Mercury and uh, let's see what I can do here I will put a governor here which um, automates the management of some things inside this uh, this colony and uh, I can't build a spaceport yet because every block of land here is uninhabitable but you can change that so as I told you um, the AI is incredibly aggressive so it's important that you start building your military as soon as possible um, there's another colony ship going to Mars as you can see and soon we'll have a notification that Mars has been colonized One of the traits of the humans is that you get a, well, a big ship 
at the start of it. Wow, that was fast. Um, this is what happens when the new race finds you or when you find a new race. And uh, this is these guys which for some reason have owls working for them. And these bars show the levels of trust, anger and fear that they have towards you. Uh, right now, as we just met, they are all in the... Well, they have no values. Uh, you can discuss and negotiate with them, but I will do nothing because in the past um, I've used these options and nothing good came out of it. So... Mars is colonized already. I'll put a governor there too. And one on Venus too. So there's something in Venus. It says that he could use some exploration, but I don't know how to do that. And Earth is building small transports. Oh, I forgot to choose something to research, and um, I'm going to go immediately for the Corvette O. So it's a different kind of O, a bigger one than the ones I have available right now. And um, from what I saw in the first games that I played, yeah, military is quite important because. They are going after you pretty soon. After that, and uh, it's very easy to queue some things here. Hmm. Energy weapons, power cells, fleet supply. What does this give? Ordinance Fabricators. That looks cool. Yeah, that looks cool. I'm gonna choose that. And... Something in the Weapons Department. This. Okay. You know what? I'm going to put the weapons in second place. Great. Now, as you can see, transports are being built and that one is done already. And uh, I can zoom out. Yes, that, that race that just talked to me is right around the corner. It's right here. So I could explore this star here, it's very very close, and I think I have a scout, I do, send the scout to that star system, and as you can see this is very, um, first of all you have to be quick, because, well, you will be attacked pretty soon, and uh, so you have to develop very very fast uh, second of all try not to have your well your main planet not building anything like it is right now because you will need um, you always need things you always need fighters um, and you can design your own fighters and your own ships, and I'll show that in a bit. So, I'll just start building some fighters. So, 
So, because I sent the ship here, uh, you can now see the planets that are orbiting this star. And uh, Elos first is not... Um, it's inevitable by my, my, my race, so there's nothing I can do here. I will try to scout this one and see if this one is better for me. It is so. As you can see, I can colonize this one and the uh, population, this is the maximum population this planet can have. Fertility is the maximum number of food that you can grow here so because um, this is a barren planet there's no possibility to, to grow any food and richness is the amount of production that this world is going to give you so let's go back to this wheel and uh, How in the world do these guys have so many ships already? Really? They have so many ships. And they're colonizing healers too. So. Yeah. Let's forget about this star system and go somewhere else. I have one ship here and I'm going to set it for automated automated exploration. And let's see if I can build something else on Hurt. What if I put Hurt on Core 2? Nothing changes. Oh no, it completely changed. So, let's see. This fighter is named Scout, which is quite confusing. There's a Scout uh, already, but then we have a fighter that is called Falcon Scout, which is weird. I'll just change the name. From Vulcan Scout to just Vulcan. And you can see here the loadout of this ship is quite small. And uh, I'll build my own ships soon. So this didn't substitute this ship, it just created a, a different one. And let's build a few more. And let's create the fleet. I have no designs to load. Uh, Okay. Okay. 
okay and so this I just created a fleet a fleet with nine ships and this is telling me that uh, some of the ships are already available so I just have to assign them to this fleet and I just did and it now says that um, I still need five other ships so I just click build now and this automatically starts building the ships on the available planets and that's um, that's a very nice feature my first fleet for some reason is traveling pretty far I don't want that I want them to come here I thought Elas was being colonized, but it wasn't, so I will do it. Elas 3. Um, all the planets have these kind of names, so the star has a name and all the planets around are named after the star but you can change it oh. this is a notification saying that the corvette all is now unlocked and i now can build uh, using that o and there's two new planets over here that i can colonize and i will colonize this one So, colony ship is going there already. And let's see what's being built on Earth. It's building another colony ship to colonize ferries. Windu is also discovered now. Oh, this is this planet builds a lot of um, a lot of food. Oh, I colonized and I was attacked immediately there are troops here and my colony is going to be destroyed pretty soon yeah it's gone so yeah, what those guys were doing was they dropped troops on Hila's third. They didn't colonize it. They just dropped some troops there. Which is weird at least I haven't seen it I haven't seen this before this behavior okay so I really sh should learn how do you transfer troops let's build some troops first and um, I think I, sh I would have to create a different kind of ship a transport ship so Starting with this soul. Storage, command, colony. 
Well, you know what? I'll just figure this out off camera and um, well, you can see it in part 2 uh, don't forget to visit the channel for other videos, subscribe and visit the blog to keep up with all the news. Thank you, bye!